Hi, I'm Tommy Vincent, the host of In Her Words podcast. And today joining us at the table, we have Therese Van Rines, the Senior Director of External Communications for Zebra Technologies. Therese, welcome to the table. Thank you, Tommy. Pleasure to be here. (laughs) Absolutely. Now, you and I have some history. But before we go there, I would like to hear from you in your own words. Who is Therese? Who is Therese? Therese is a wife, a mother, a Christian, a um, person who loves to be with other people and see other people succeed. So now I know that you have um, responsibility with your job, Zebra Technologies, and one of the things that you've done that I personally, it's one of my favorite things, is your book. Oh, thank you. (laughs) And so I really want to talk about it and talk about the concept and why that it was important for you to author that book, right? Yes. So we have Zippy's special gift. Can you gift? Can you tell us about the book? Absolutely. Writing a book has always been on my bucket list, and as part of my role at Zebra, I currently lead our philanthropy efforts. And one of our key strategic charitable partners is Bernie's Book Bank which is a nonprofit organization organization based in the Chicago area. And they help children in underprivileged situations learn how to read. They give them a couple bags of books every year through their schools. And in working with Bernie's Book Bank, we were saying, you know, wouldn't it be nice if Zebra contributed not only through cash and, and donation of time, but if you were to someday contribute a book to the children as well. And I took that... Uh, that idea very seriously. (laughs) Match that up with my bucket list. Found a a publisher and brought that dream to to fruition. And I'll tell you what, it's been a, excuse me, it's been a whole new learning experience. It's opened up a whole new world for me. And to see the response people have in reading that book and uh, really helping children understand that we all belong. Yes. We all have unique characteristics about us, but that's what makes us each unique and special to this world. Yes. So for the past few years, Zebra has been our partner for Safe Zone Activity Day that we've been doing in the Super Bowl cities. Mm -hmm. And you all have gifted over 1,500 books to the students. And we recognize, so we serve K through fifth grade. That's the programming. And so we recognize that the book is not on the level for every student, but what we also know is that it's so empowering when an older sibling or cousin or relative can take the book that we've provided to them in their book bag and share it with someone younger younger than themselves. Mm -hmm. Because they're also sending the message to that younger child how important it is to read, and they're sharing this powerful message of belonging, and it it, it's like so impactful. And so one, publicly, I just want to thank you for that. And thank you for the content of that book. I think it's very timely. I think it's important for every single person, young and old, to, to not only hear that they belong, but to feel it and believe it. Yes, yes. It is really a story about love, mm-hmm. loving one another, loving yourself. Yes. And, and it is a timeless story, right? It's yes. really at the heart of it. It's about a zebra who really doesn't like her stripes. And her mother sends her out into the world and to see each of her friends has their own unique characteristic as well that maybe they don't like very much about themselves, but they know it has a benefit to them. And in the end, Zippy does appreciate appreciator stripes. And so it's been a fun story to share with children of all ages. Yes. Adults love it as well. Yes. I have some of my colleagues who first pur- purchased it when it came out a couple years ago and they said, my child still makes me read it with them every single night. So it's, it's doing well. That's amazing. So you checked off the bucket list. You wrote a book. Mm-hmm. Do you have any aspirations of writing another book? You know, Tommy, it's interesting. People ask me, how long did it take you to write that book? It took me one afternoon. I sat down as if I was writing a poem, and with the rhyme, it just kind of flowed, and I ran it by a few members of my family. They gave me a few tips on how to improve it even further. I've sat down since then and started to ideate about a second book, and I found it a little bit more challenging. 
because you need to think about should it be similar, should it be a different path, if you will. So it is on my mind, and I've had several people ask if there will be a second book, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. That is also something, I actually have a book on my computer. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's been on my, it's still, like, it's it's a work in progress, but definitely for me, that is something, um, for multiple reasons. One, it's something that I personally would like to accomplish. I believe that I have something to say. Yes. And with books, they live forever. Yes. And so I want to I wanna get the messaging out there and really continue to leave my fingerprint in the world. I believe that we all have these special things inside of us that are necessary. Yes. It may not be for everybody, but it's for somebody. Exactly. And so getting it out is really critical. Um, and with your work and your focus in philanthropy and the stuff that you're doing at Zebra, talk to us about that and what philanthropy work is in alignment with the mission of Zebra Technologies. Yes, we really believe in the notion of doing well by doing good. Zebra is a very successful company. We've been established over 50 years ago now, started as a barcode printing company, and have now expanded into robotics and artificial intelligence and machine vision. And so as part of that success, we believe in giving back to our local communities. So for example, we have over 20 employee groups around the world who are driving volunteerism at the local level, whether it be in Chicago where we're based or India or somewhere in Europe. We're a global company and we have our employees who really believe in giving back to help the company grow and succeed. So we're giving our time, we're giving our treasure, we're giving technology. And it's been just a joy to watch so many people embrace that. How has the philanthropic efforts impacted your staff members? Because it's not, you're not just, you're creating a space where it's part of the culture. Right. And so you do it as teams, you do it together. How has that impacted the team? It's really built collaboration. It's nice because we considered it a, we consider it an employee benefit that we each have four days of paid time off each year that we can volunteer. So we get together as employees and come together as teams and go out and do team building exercises to volunteer together. And uh, I think it's just brought a lot of um, new ways to recruit talent. Young people today look for that in a company, right? They look for that philanthropic focus. So it's really been a draw for employees to come in and, and join us in our mission. We even offer what we call donations for doers, which if you volunteer for an organization, and you file a form, we will then give to that charity okay. since you've given time to them as well. So it's really been a, a great way to bring more collaboration. And we also find that giving back improves your mental wellness, right? And so many of us are stressed out today. And research shows that by giving back, by giving that volunteerism to your community, it lowers the stress. So that's been a huge benefit as well. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't strike me as someone that just does anything like you move with great intentionality. Why is giving back important to you personally? It really makes me feel good to see others benefit from what I do, right? I've been given so many gifts in my life. I have a wonderful family, a nice community around me. And to help those that may be less fortunate, to bring a smile to someone's face. Yeah. I know participating at your Safe Zone Activity Day <laughs> earlier this week and seeing those children just light up all the people they're giving back. It's yes. you, you win as much as they do. 100%. Let me tell you something. That event, we have it once a year, and it literally is fuel for me because I have the videos and the pictures in my phone. And sometimes when I'm looking at my own life and, and having a pity party, if yes. you will, yes. I go through the images and I look at the videos of the smiling faces and the dancing and the laughter, and it just like snaps me right back into perspective. And so I know 100% the benefit of just how it impacts my personal well-being. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I have a segment that I do, and it's I'm bringing her to the table with me. 
And this is your opportunity to present another woman with some verbal flowers for you know that your career would not be where it is today or you would not be where you are today without her fingerprint on your life. Mm, that's a hard one to nail it down to one woman. <laughs> That's what everyone says, yes. so you're not alone in that. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many, but I would have to say right before joining you today, Tommy, the woman that I spoke with most recently is my mother. She's celebrating her birthday today. Oh, wow. And it was a, a huge gift to be able to take some time out of a very busy day and wish her a happy birthday. Um, she's been a huge influence on my life. She comes from a, a modest background, uh, high school education, and yet every um, interest I've ever had throughout my life, she supported me driving me to dance lessons when I was young mm -hmm. and, and things of that nature and just her encouragement, the example she set of giving back and and um, contributing to her community through a variety of volunteer activities. I just think that she's really been a, a, a positive influence on my life. I love it. Um, I love that. So I'm really grateful that you took the time. I know you're here and you're busy doing what you're doing, but you took the time to come to the table. You know, for me, it's really important to continue to elevate the stories of women that ha are having an impact in sports. And I know that zebra technology, it is all through sports um, in ways that people don't even understand. You know, there's elements of technology. We don't know it, but that's what's creating information and data and allowing the game to be the game that it is today. Yes. So thank you so much for coming to the table and just know that you are welcome at the In Her Words table anytime. Tommy, thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. Come on.